Hi, I'm Max Eddy with PCMag.com, and this is Minecraft, one of my favorite games. Though it's a lot of fun in its own right, there are hundreds of mods for the game that add tons of new content and new ways to play. Here are my 10 favorites that are easy enough for anyone to install. This is Minecraft Comes Alive, which makes the in-game villagers a little more friendly. As you can see, they have unique names and appearances, and you can interact with them as well. They'll spawn naturally in villages, but you can add as many as you want in creative mode. Tell jokes, chat, and eventually your villagers will be amiable enough to marry you and start a family. It's a neat spin on the Minecraft NPCs, and one that I hope Minecraft developers will look to when working on the NPCs. There are other elevator mods out there, but I like the Dynamic Elevators mod because of its powerful options, and you can build an elevator however you like. Call an elevator with the elevator button, or right-click on the pad to select your floor directly. You can also change how the elevator registers floors so your underground floors appear as basement floors. Dynamic Elevators also makes a great addition to Puzzle Maps since the elevator pads don't need side supports and can find floors on their own, though sometimes I don't always agree with where the elevator thinks a floor is. I love beer, so I was thrilled to find the Booze mod which adds brewing apparatus and ingredients for different kinds of wine, beer, and liquor. All the items can be crafted and ingredients grown, so if you always wanted a functioning vineyard, here's your chance. The only catch is that the mod simulates the brewing process very accurately, so it takes several in-game days to complete a batch. And once you finish a bottle, be sure to enjoy it responsibly, or, well... Instead of huge landscapes in Minecraft, the Biosphere mod creates glass-topped spheres connected by bridges. Each sphere is half stone and minerals, and the top portion contains a different Minecraft biome. While it looks cool, it also adds new challenges to the game, like avoiding falling into the abyss below. Minecraft only recently added horses, but the Mo Creatures mod not only has horses, but dozens of other creatures as well. Everything from snails to raccoons to elephants to dragons can be found in the Mo Creatures world. Each animal also has unique motions, sounds, and different abilities. However, these cute bunnies running all over your map can really slow down your game. Fans of the Final Fantasy series will probably get excited about Chococraft, which has giant birds called chocobos to your game. Sorry, that's just how I pronounce it. Anyway, these friendly critters can be tamed with special food, saddled, and then ridden around the landscape. You can even fly when pressing the space key. It's a lot of fun, and if you're interested in animal husbandry, take a crack at crossbreeding all the different varieties of chocobos in the mod. Vanilla Minecraft requires you to craft your own maps, but Rii's mini-map sidesteps all that work by adding a small map to the corner of your screen, along with powerful suite of features. With this mod, you can create checkpoints visible from anywhere on the map and even see creatures moving in real time. This mod can also display the places you've died, which is great for when you need to recover some lost items. And that's just a taste of what this powerful mod can do. If in-game minimaps seem too much like cheating, you'll probably prefer Magic Yarn. As you can see, I'm trapped in the labyrinth, but Magic Yarn records my every move so that I can find my way back with just a click. You can add waypoints with your ball of Magic Yarn, and when you're ready to reset, just press and hold. Water and lava make for great decorations in Minecraft, but transporting them one bucket load at a time is really tedious. Instant Lake adds two blocks to Minecraft, one for water, one for lava, that completely fill a space with the fluid of your choice. The mod also includes a magic bucket that removes entire levels from your Instant Lake for easy cleanup. Thankfully, the mod also has limits on how large your lake can be so you won't accidentally flood the world. Last, but certainly not least, is my favorite mod, Archimedes Ships. Minecraft comes with a boat, but it's dinky and lame. This mod lets you build a boat out of blocks, in whatever shape you like, and then sail it around the game. It works using a special ship marker block. When you click it, the mod recognizes any continuous shape of unnatural materials as a ship. Your boat can have as many markers as you like, but it has to fit within a 16x16x16 16 by 16 by 16 block cube. Also, remember how I said it only recognizes unnatural materials? This keeps you from accidentally sailing off on a mountain, but it also means you might accidentally sail off on your dock. Or your house. If this happens, the mod has thoughtfully included some helpful commands to dismount or destroy troublesome boats. I got around this problem by simply lining my dock with dirt. Those are my favorite mods, but there are hundreds more out there. To read more about these mods, Minecraft, or oodles of other projects, check out PCMag.com.